right from quite an early age in my education, I knew that I kind of wanted to pursue a career in engineering. At school, um, I was really interested in kind of maths and science subjects, and I also had a really great sort of inspirational teacher, and, and he kind of showed me what a path in, in a career in engineering might look like, and that really interested me. So I went on to then do A-levels and studied sort of maths and science subjects. Uh, and then was very clear that I wanted to do a civil engineering degree, so I then went on to university and studied civil engineering. You know, it, it was male dominated. Um, I think there was a class of 40 students and there was about three girls in that class. It certainly didn't put me off, I just accepted it. That was how it was. Uh, it perhaps would have been nicer to have uh, more women on the course, but I was quite a focused young person in terms of what I wanted to do so I just accepted that that was that was what it was. As a young student I guess I had aspirations around building a big iconic bridge or you know these big kind of things that you see see around us and to this day still I've kind of like drive past uh, things that I've been involved with projects that I've been involved with and point to them and go <laughs> I built that. <laughs> in terms of what I get out of it personally. Um, I think it's about that sense of pride and that kind of making a difference and the critical kind of role that a water company plays in our communities and the part that I play in that. And, and we really do make a difference and I think that's kind of why I've stayed in the water industry and continue to enjoy being part of it. Mm -hmm.